iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. I play Kostya, who's the editor of a, of a progressive-leaning journal. Um, uh, just after Putin's rise to power, um, and um, I'm the editor of the main character in the play, played by Frankie, uh, Francesca Ferradani, and um, they're best friends. They, um, they're, they're, they're really, really close friends, but they, they have a conflict in the play. They, um, they disagree on the best way to handle journalism in an authoritarian society. And um, it's, it's, it's a relationship that's affected by the political environment that they are working in. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a really rich role. I play Raya, and she's an independent journalist in Putin's Russia. And um, it, this is the beginning of his regime, so people were thinking still then that he might be somebody who would allow protest, who would allow freedom of speech, who would allow opposing voices. And when the play opens, my first scene is a night where it seems like he's really not going to be that person. I'm playing Evgeny. Evgeny is a, an accountant in uh, Russia working for a, an investment banker, and he uh, uncovers some irregularities in some uh, with some tax rebates, and he acts on it and sort of goes public with it, and he uh, is a man of extraordinary strength and courage and bravery. Uh, my name is Eric Jensen, and I play Andre, who's a Kremlin official and media liaison. Um, at times, he's the most dangerous person on stage. He's former KGB, so that makes, his, makes the character very interesting. Um, and I think he represents a kind of cynicism, a kind of caving in to totalitarianism in a way, um, giving up his hopes and becoming part of the system rather than fighting it. So that's my character. Hi, I'm Jonathan Walker, and I play Jim, who is an American investment individual. There's like big company, like a Warren Buffett company. Um, in Russia in this very particular time in history as Russia opened up financially and a lot of people came in there was a vacuum and there was a lot of money to be made uh, he's very very loosely based on a guy named Bill Browder who wrote a number of influential books about this period and Bill Browder at the time his company uh, Hermitage investment group cumulatively he made over 1,600% return on his investments. He was making himself and other people huge amounts of money, but also having to deal with the government, Putin coming in, and the oligarchs. So he's making money over here, and he's dealing with oligarchs, and he's dealing with the government. So it was kind of Wild West. So he's a fascinating character, very front foot, as we call it, very aggressive, but kind of a good guy, too. And brave, I mean, because that's a pretty dangerous way to make money. Yeah, I I at that time in Russia, and Bill Browder himself, who Jim is, as I said, loosely based on, was kicked out of Russia a number of times, detained, booted out, and then he came back and fought the system and made more money. <laughs> I'm playing Chovka. I play uh, a young woman who Raya, our main character, um, interviews in Chechnya. Um, she's a young girl living through a war, basically, yeah. I'm Olivia. I'm playing Galina, who is Raya's daughter, and she's just trying to love her mom and keep her safe the best way she can. I did a workshop of this play with Dan Sullivan and Erica about a year ago. So I was very, very lucky to get to work on it then, and so I knew a bit about it. So when this came along, I, was, I jumped on it immediately. I mean, Erica's written a really, really good play about something that's really current and important to all of us, basically the state of our democracy and freedom of speech, and at what point um, does that become dangerous? And at what point are we in trouble as a nation that we have to take care of that? And um, at what cost? is speaking truth to power. What are the costs that come with truth? So it's, it's, you know, we're in an election year, so it's a big, everyone's thinking about these things and it's important and amazing. And I'm very, um, I feel very lucky to get to be in a play that's talking about those things right now. It's always exciting to start on a new piece, one that's never been performed before. And, um, and I've been looking for something to come back and work on stage again. 
and, and this was the play that really spoke to me. In college, I was actually a, a political science minor, and I've always been fascinated with, with politics and um, debating politics and the language of debating politics. And this is a play um, that deals with politics in, a, in an entertaining way. It's really funny, it's incredibly witty. Erica Sheffer, the playwright, I was a big fan of her first play, one of her first plays called Russian Transport. Um, writing about politics is difficult. It's like writing about religion or race. It's like these taboo subjects, not taboo, but these difficult subjects that can sometimes be um, preachy. And, and she makes the dialogue so alive and, and energetic. Uh, it was just, I knew this was the play I wanted to do. What drew me to the play was that it's a great freaking play. It's like a really, and they're not all great. Uh, and this one really is. And it's, um, it's a great play. And it is also about, I mean, it's about Russia 20 years ago, but it could be about Russia now. And it could be about the United States now. And it could be about an, any number of countries. Uh, and it's about war and journalism. And it's, a, it just feels like it's, um, it is interrogating uh, how we should behave in the world, which is what should, theater should do, I think. I mean, this is a very particular time in everybody's history. Um, whether you're in Turkey or whether you're in Hungary or Russia or America, we're dealing with uh, a lot of pressures. And I think of it as a play about pressure. You're pressured to make decisions. And what will you sacrifice for what you want, for your standing, whether it's your money, or your car, or your apartment, or your principles. There's that great song, Under Pressure. Oh, I love that Queen song. and David Bowie. Yeah. And it's like, what? I just got a chill up my neck, because it's like, what are you willing to do to maintain? And there's that great, I think it came out of sports maybe. There are those who lead, those who follow, and those who step back. Mm. But in a totalitarian society, you have that, but you add in. And there are those who are disappeared. Yeah. Those who disappear, and wow. you have to add that in, and it all becomes much darker and more sinister. And so it's about relationships, and it's about what are you going to do? How are you going to act? How are you going to stand up for what you believe in, and what do you believe in? For me, uh, this play is about uh, finding hope in the face of totalitarianism. It's about the resilience of the human heart, and also about the compromises we make to maintain our own personal safety. Um, you know, it's hard to fight the power. It's hard to stand up and be counted, especially when uh, somebody can, can poison you or shoot you or throw you in jail for just thinking the wrong thing. We're very fortunate that we're able to do this play in the United States because there's a lot of places where a political play like this would not be allowed. And, um, and yeah, that's what I have to say about that. Well, I auditioned for it, um, and I hoped for the best. I sent in a, <laughs> a self-tape from my dad's office while I was working as a camp counselor at his classical music camp. So, you know, you as an actor always get to audition for beautiful pieces and you hope that one day you actually get to do them in full. Um, and this was one of those lucky circumstances where um, I got to be in this room and I get to do it on stage with all these amazing people. And um, I think what drew me to it was Erica's writing and working with Daniel, who's incredible, and um, I'm just very grateful to be a part of the world, yeah. I think for me, it was just the, the script. The script was so, it felt so present and relevant, but also there was humor and hope and, and a lot of fight, which I feel like is something that I love to see. Um, yeah, it's incredibly topical. I mean, we were sitting around the table being like, oh, you know, actually the situations in this play are a lot like, oh, well, this political conflict. And then everyone else is like, well, no, it's really about this one. Oh, it's really about this. One. I mean, it's like it's just like it's incredibly relevant to like any number of parts of the world and any number of times in history. It's like such an interesting play that engages with all all of it in the whole thing. Yeah. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes Benz.